To draw a Dutch windmill, you'll need a pencil and a pen and an eraser. But let's not talk about it. Let's do it. We need a plan for this windmill and you basically want to split it up into units of six. So I'm going to do this in two centimetres. But you can do it in, you know, sort of coin widths or anything you like. So this is, I'm doing 12 centimetres and I'm splitting it up into six. So that's going to be one, two, three. So this is actually going to be kind of the body. And then that's going to be the 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 machinery top part and then the sails are going to go up into the top bit so what I'm going to do is in this so we're, we're going this is the base this is going to be the ground one two three we're going to go um, across like that and then we're going to draw this um, sort of semicircle like that and then from here then we can go down uh, at an angle. Here we're creating a sort of four-sided um, rectangle kind of thing. It's not square, so there's a word for that. Um, poly, poly something. <laughs> and so this is where it all happens up here. So we're going to then need another curve coming down there to a little bit of a point. So we've got a kind of an arch. And then you're going to want to have a circle there. So that's the central axle around which the sails go. Now down here, about halfway across, we're going to put um, a, like a veranda. So it's, it's a, a thing that goes all the way around so you can walk all the way around the outside. That has a very specific use because uh, the sail needs to come down to just around about there. And let's measure that. That's going to be about four. So we'll take that four, which is going to take us up beyond so we've got that one, two, three, four, five, and this is the sixth part up here. So it's almost up to the top of the sixth there. And that's where we're going to want that one going there. And we'll want four going there. And we'll want four going there. Um, like that. And those are going to be the sails. These are the main beam supports of the sails. Is that four? That just that feels that should be a bit bit bigger actually. No, it's up to there, isn't it? That's right, because that's the <laughs> that's the top one there. So that's where we're going to. I think I want that just slightly wider down there. If you watch this far, you probably like drawing. So click down here and make sure you're subscribed to Draw Stuff Real Easy. Come back for lots more drawing videos every week. And I'm going to start in ink with a circle there so this is the central boss this is the this is where it all really works so this is turning around and that's creating the drive for all the machinery inside which might be grinding corn it might be pumping um, water uh, in Holland they do a lot of pumping of water it's a very flat country so it sort of floods and so they have to pump the water out all the time now I'm going to build this little kind of veranda thing along here and I'm going to um, draw those little things across so these are the bits to stop you falling off okay and why would you want to walk around a windmill uh, you can get a nice pretty view of all the tulips I should think uh, but the main reason is to uh, set the sails and they're called sails for a reason because they're very like ship sails and they might not look it right at the moment but I, I'll just get those bits done and then we can start doing <laughs> this so we can kind of draw the oh let's make that a bit wider there like that um, th this is kind of a ladder construction that goes um, all the way up the side like this and it's not much use is it because it's just going to let the wind straight through as a ladder and that is the whole point because you don't want while you're not grinding corn you don't want the sails going around all the time and so uh, so you let the wind go through and the ladder is very good for that because it's full of holes and the wind just goes straight through but 
when it comes to you wanting to make the sails turn round then you're going to need to stick some cloth against it so this kind of ladder pattern then uh, acts as a backing and sort of holds the whole thing together and you can tie a sheet of cloth <laughs> onto this ladder and then it becomes a sail and it's at this point down here that some brave person then has to say yeah i will <laughs> i will climb up the ladder and uh, do the sails and so somebody has to climb up the ladder and do the sails um and and over the years they came up with lots and lots of brilliant new patent designs for how to do sails and they have some amazing ways of doing it now um but uh, but in the old days, that's what they had to do. So it's quite a dangerous job, I think. If if you were sort of just started climbing up up the ladder and somebody kind of whoops, um, let's go the break. Whoa! You can start flying around and round and round. Just not a good thing to do. So now we can put this dome in the background like that, down to there and across. And then maybe a little bit across there like that. And then this part here is kind of like an arch coming down there. Um, and then this whole part swivels. This whole top dome swivels around uh, so that it can face which way the wind is turning. And, and while you're grinding corn, you have to keep, uh, keep turning it. Now this veranda it needs a bit of support. So... We have to sort of put these great big support poles down like this. So let's do those outside ones first. Do the one in the middle next. So that they're, we need to get them on the same line as well like that. And then do the next one like that, which is going to be a slightly different angle. And then you can fit the others in there like that. Uh, in between. And in fact, you're going to see another one coming round at the back, probably, at least one. So now you can fit the brick part in, and you can maybe make that a little bit of a crumbly line so it looks like old brick. Because oh, I don't know if they're making windmills like this anymore, but they, I think they tend to be sort of old things and if they're still working then they're probably tourist attractions now <laughs> or they've been converted into houses now when you are absolutely sure that the ink is dry then you can erase all those pencil lines and no one will know how you managed to plan the whole thing out so neatly and let's start with a bit of fanciness we can put some sort of boards in across there like that and we may be a bit more in underneath there like that there's going to be probably um an archway underneath there and this is brick so we'll have a sort of brick archway and we're going to need some sort of double doors to let a cart or something come through because they want to <laughs> bring the corn in and out and then maybe there's a, a kind of window things going on there like that and then we're going to want some windows in the brick as well so just do these little panes simply like that maybe one two very simple one two one two there might be one in there one two one two maybe a bigger one down here one two three four five six and maybe one on that side too and they <laughs> they can be in all sorts of weird different places because you're going around and up and down the steps inside and all sorts of things and then let's make it look uh brick like but we're not going to draw every brick so just draw a big brick and a little brick like that and big and little big little sort of, sort of change them around a little bit and so so they don't all have the, exactly the same pattern there may be a little pattern of three across there a pattern of two uh, where you can fit them in really but don't overdo it and then on the side here you probably want them there like that too we may have some shadow going on underneath here so I'm just going to do these kind of vertical lines they're getting slightly longer towards the edge and I think underneath here as well we're going to have some shadow so I'm going to do these vertical lines 
and they will get slightly slightly longer to towards the edge and if it doesn't show up quite enough then you can cross hatch just to make that shadow look a little bit darker underneath there we might have a little bit of shadow underneath um, these um, sails might be sort of casting shadows like that and we might put a bit of a boss in the middle there too. I was just fixing the help sheets uh, which you can get on Patreon and I realised I hadn't put this part in and said, what is this? These are little bars which go around the back um, which means and there's a great big pole going all the way down and you can <laughs> then use it to turn the whole of the top around to face the wind. And there you go, how to draw a Dutch windmill. Thanks for watching and do make sure you're subscribed to draw stuff real easy. Keep coming back for lots more drawing videos every week. You can also support me on Patreon and get how to sheets and help sheets and ebooks and all sorts of things like that. Check it out now. In the meantime, keep drawing, 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 practice, 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 and I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye bye.